You're watching Newsnight here on Arise News. I'm Charles Anyagulu in the Nigerian capital, Abuja. Now, the distinctive artwork of the Nigerian artist, Chinze Ojoba, continues to attract lots of attention across her home country and in other parts of the world, even if her name is not yet instantly recognizable internationally. Her unique art style involves the use of recycled and sometimes trashed or discarded items to form works of great beauty. She's developed her own euphony, free from any school or movement of art. To celebrate her unique works, the famous National Museum in Lagos recently hosted an exhibition of some of her contemporary artworks and installations. It followed a successful showing of some of her most popular creations at the Sheraton Gallery here in Abuja. Well, in a moment, I'll be joined in the studio by Chinze Ojoba herself. But first, I went along to one of her exhibitions here in Abuja to see for myself what all the fuss was about. Her unique creations adorn the walls in the homes of both the rich and the not-so-rich in Nigeria. Original, precise and consistent, it is the way the artist Chinze Ojobo manages to combine a delicate woman's touch, an extraordinary eye for detail and meticulous experimental technique that has captured the imagination of Nigeria's art lovers. People like to collect them, they appreciate them, the interpretation of each person probably different from what the artist was doing. But everybody admires it and they like it a lot. I experiment, I'm very yeah, got the word, I experiment. Yes. So it's not like I can predict this is where I'm going, this is what I'm doing. I, ex I experiment with every material I work with. Like that particular work that, if you notice the center, if you look at it, there's something I poured on it, to, you know, that con you know congealed. It was an experimentation. Those things are tambourine rings, the, the silver things on it. It's made her arguably the leading freestyle female art creator in Nigeria, drawing the attention of some of the most notable art galleries in the country, including the Abuja-based Sheraton Gallery. If you look at our work, you will know that there are so many details in our work than other works that I've seen. There are some other women too that are into the same, but the art is special because there are so many things that is involved in our work. Our experience in life, our state of mind, and what she wants people to feel about her. Poignant, striking, and sometimes florid, the figures in Chinze's work seem to dance and are full of metaphor and beauty. There is a very African joie de vivre that sweeps through her art, a sort of happy and hopeful mood. But there is also allegory in which the characters and events symbolize a deeper moral and spiritual meaning. I enjoy when people interpret because I, I call it conversation pieces. So I, I think my works are conversation pieces. Each one, you drop it, people talk about it, express yourself. So I leave them, they criticize it, they say what they want, I'm happy. Combining painting with printmaking, Chinze's genius lies in recycling scraps, woodcuts and hunks of metal and transforming them into new shapes and patterns. Stunningly beautiful objet d'art. Some have called her a groundbreaking avant-gardist because of her experimental, almost daring methods. Like when I want to work, I look around the house, what do I work with? Oh, I don't have the right because I always say to myself, oh, if only I had this kind of material, I would make this type of artwork. But I could actually work with what I had. So I started working with what I had, and that's how I came up with all this. Today, Chinza's works are instantly recognizable to both the Konyoshenti and ordinary Nigerians and has led to a big growth in her reputation, even if some visitors to the gallery end up fretting about what some of her creations mean and who created them. There was a group of people that came, they were actually arguing, okay, you are the one that is doing the work, we want to meet the artist, and she said, I'm the artist. They just can't believe because they are men that a woman can do such a strenuous job because it's hard if you look at some of our pieces. It's mixed media. Some are with metal, which is not easy for a woman to make metal with, you know. The Sheraton Gallery exhibition is breathing new life into Chinze's creations, regularly attracting dozens of visitors throughout the day. One of them told me that rather than think too hard about her works, he just sees the African joy in them, 
and lets her artistic influence and the wide range of her works seize his imagination. Charles Anyagolu, Arise News, Abuja, Nigeria. And Shinze Ojoba joins me now. Absolutely delighted to have you here in the flesh. Um, first of all, how did you get into art? I mean, did you study art in school? Yeah, I studied art in school, but um, from age three, I've been doing art, I've been painting, and my parents encouraged me, and I did the university. So before you actually got into formalized yes. art education, you, you had a knack for it, and yeah. sort of sort of knew this was what you were going to do when you mm -hmm. when you grew up. No, I was supposed to read medicine. Right. And um, my mom actually wanted me to read medicine. And I actually wanted to do art. Which is the classic Nigerian yes. parent. You've got to be a professional. <laughs> yes. I mean, who's talking about being a painter, for God's sake, for an artist? Yes. So I got into the university. I actually was supposed to get in for medicine. I got in for zoology. Mm. So I did my first year in zoology, then I switched over to arts, and that's how I got into arts. Well, I mean, well I'm going to talk, uh, if we've got the time, a little bit later about all the different things you've done academically. Mm. But let's focus on your art. Um, it's been viewed not just in Nigeria, but mm. beyond. And you've had them exhibited in Europe, the US, China, other parts of Africa. What sort of reception have you received internationally? Um, I think my, I, I would say I've had very positive reception, especially in California, because um, in California, Bulgaria, because my stuff was totally different from what others mm. had. In Bulgaria, I was given, um, I wanted a diploma degree because I had my exhibitions, my work was totally different. Uh, we had um, seven artists from different parts of the world. I was the only one from Africa. Mm. But by the time we were done, mine was totally different and I had more production. And so they awarded me with a diploma in art. That was in Bulgaria. In Bulgaria. So. Then in California, we had a series of like 90 artists exhibiting. I was only female and mm. others were males. At the end of the day, my work was different. And they loved my work. I had very good reception. So I understand you actually got an award in California, the too. Department of Arts and Culture. Yes. Tell us about that. Yeah, I had an exhibition. It was an open show. Kind of when I saw an open show, a lot of other artists, native artists, were involved, and uh, my work stood out. And um, because of my works, because of the quality I had, they loved it. It was different. It was African, but it wasn't very native work. Mm. It was African yet it was native. Sure. They loved it very well and they gave me an award. The uh, community took the work. It was put in the municipality. The piece, the well, let, let's just talk about what inspires your art. Do you draw inspiration from history, from news and political events such as maybe the kidnap of the mm. Chibok girls or something? Or are you much more visceral in the sense that you know, it's instinct and emotions that, rather than intellect that inspires you. I think I, think I work both ways. I work with what happens around me. Mm. Like, um, I teach teenage girls, and um, what happens to them bothers me a lot. So when I see things about them, I tend to express, like my last exhibition yes. was... Uh, That's called, the one called Unfinished, Unfinished Business. Unfinished Business, right. yes. It was more or less on them because I consider their case to be unfinished. Mm. And so I try to reflect what happens around me in my paintings. Then sometimes I work, like you said, on instinct. I want to, I have an idea, I want to put it down, I want to paint. I just express myself. Right, so, now we, we talked about what you studied, you talked mm -hmm. about zoology, but you also studied interior design in the United States, mm -hmm. as well as public relations, advertising, business administration. Did you get into all that to support your artwork as ways to help market it, or did you just want to do other things? Okay, the, the interior design, I'm very much interested in interior design. Like, I do interior design, I do um, movie makeup. I do the makeup. I consider myself very creative in the sense that I'm creative all around. Right, so you're quite eclectic. I'm very you're, not, you're not limited yes, to I'm art. Not limited. So, so art, yeah. I do paintings, I do interiors, I do clothing, right. I do jewelry, I do all sorts. So I decided to say, okay, instead of just doing it on my own, let me do a study on interior. So mm. now I do interior design. I do it professionally now. I earn money from it. Now for um, the business of I did, why I did the business, um, administration. administration was because I wanted to open a business 
I, because I do interior design, so when I go to buy stuff from Nigeria, I always have excess money coming. Mm. So I decided to use my excess money to buy things to sell. Right. Aspa, I'm an Igbo girl. <laughs> Being a classic sort of Nigerian. Yeah. Now let, let's talk about. So that's how I got into that one. Yes. Right. So I had to study it to have an idea of how to run the business. Right. So, so once you've got the inspiration for your art, how then do you go about expressing it? The most important thing, like you said, is the inspiration. When I have the inspiration, I now source my materials. I decide what kind of material to do, what I want to use for this. If you look at my last exhibition, I had various, I, I used about three, four different techniques. Mm. And I had to express the uh, various techniques. I tried, I experimented, like this one now, I experimented with this. Mm. Uh, this is an experimentation. Then this is another one. I worked as a, a plexiglass. I worked with plexiglass. Sure. It was an experimentation also. This plexiglass, I've kind of um, improved on it. Here, I just smashed it and I used it carelessly and I used wire to link them together. But now I cut them into shapes. You know, well for that's artists. extraordinary. Yes. I mean, th that's what makes your art so unique. Now, as, as, so, so basically, um, there's a lot of mixture in your works, yeah. um, it, you know, bits and pieces, this, that, the other thing. Do, do you, you, so you don't go around saying, okay, there's an old bit of sort of a dust bin there, <laughs> or there's an old sort of metal piece, or there's an old dress. I'm going to incorporate that into my work. You get the inspiration, and then you go and find the things find that it. will comprise the mm. artwork. But let me give you an example. Like when I went to Paul Gary, what they did for us was to send us out. They said, go around the town, look for anything you can find, use it to make your art. Mm. So I went around, I picked things together, got things together, then we started doing the art. So that's how come I did the exhibition and I did so You don't go around sort of rubbish dumps yeah, looking for things. Yeah, you go see <laughs> And say, oh, there's an old tin. So, yeah. Yes, old shirt, old dresses. You can use, you know, like your jacket or something. And say, give me, I could use <laughs> so, so the I inspiration think. always comes always before comes, the yes. material. Yes. So, what's next on the horizon for Chinzo Ojobo? I'm still doing my art. I'm concentrating more on, on the art than any other thing. Mm. I do movie makeup now. I do professional now because I've done for some movies now. I do movie makeup, I do the interior, but I'm more on the art. And which so, of those do you enjoy the most? The painting. I love painting. Yes. Yeah, well, we can see that. We can see a, a bit of yourself sort of going through with it. So I do more of that one, yes. Well, you, you, you just concentrate on the film sort of makeup. You're not into the uh, acting or writing or I act producing in some. all that. I act in some. Oh, okay. dear. Well, yeah. where is it? <laughs> <laughs> no, they're still editing and all that. Right, okay. What, what role did you play? Um, I played, the first one, I played somebody's mom. Mm -hmm. Then the second one, again, I played somebody's um, set of twins, a uh, few of them, and their auntie. Their mom died, sad, and their auntie they brought them up. Well, you didn't play an artist, mm -hmm. so somebody doing painting. No, no, the first one, I played an artist, a, a gallery owner. Yes. Okay, right, a yeah. gallery owner. Mm -hmm. Well, that would fit, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Chinze, I want to thank you exceedingly for coming in okay. and um, we wish you all the very best and um, do come back and talk to us again the next time you have an exhibition. Oh, okay. Chinze Ojobo, the Nigerian artist. You're watching Newsnight with me, Charles Anyokolu in Nigeria's capital, Abuja. We're heading to a short break now, but do stay with us. We'll have all the latest business news when we come back.